Make it two in a row for the National League. The NL beat the AL last night in the All-Star game 5-1. to one. Big three-run home run by the MVP, Milwaukee's Prince Fielder. He threw me a couple of cutters away, and then he threw me a uh, two-seamer in. And then um, I fouled that off my foot. That kind of hurt. And then, uh, I, think I, hit a, then I hit a cut, another cutter left center. So, um, yeah, it was, it was good at bat. Here's how Cardinals players did last night. Lance Berkman with a single. Yadier Molina with a double. They were both 1-for-1. One one. Matt Holliday 0-for-1. The Cubs' Starlin Castro was 0-for-1. He did pinch run, though, and stole two bases before being thrown out at home. White Sox' Carlos Quinton 0-for-2. Sox first baseman Paul Canerco 0-for-1. The NL has home field advantage in the World Series, and they've won two straight for the first time since the mid-90s. Trade news, the Mets send K-Rod to Milwaukee for two players to be determined. Francisco Rodriguez is a brewer stat so far this year. Two and two, 23 saves, an earned run average of 3.16. The Southern Illinois Miners and Lake Erie Crushers made a big four-player deal yesterday. Outfielder Jeremy Millens and pitcher Tom Campbell have been shipped out. Southern Illinois gets first baseman Gordy Gronkowski and outfielder Scott Hewen in return. All-star game tonight for the Frontier League is in Avon, Ohio. Miners second baseman Will Block will start for for the West, he's one of five Southern Illinois miners that are there. First pitch at 6.05. The jury has been selected for the Roger Clemens trial. Opening statements today. The NFL lockout is still going, and now the president's weighing in. I'm confident that they're going to be able to resolve this over the next couple of, uh, couple of weeks. I, I cannot imagine uh, as much money as the owners and the players are both making uh, that they want to see this season go away. And obviously the most important thing is the fans who support uh, support their livelihoods. They, they need to be loyal to them. That's President Barack Obama. Lawyers for the players and the owners met yesterday. They'll meet again today trying to get a new collective bargaining agreement. More football. Heavily fined Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker James Harrison calls NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell a crook and a devil, among other insults in his latest rants against the commission in a magazine article. The 2008 Defensive Player of the Year has not been shy about ripping the league after he was docked $100,000 dollars for illegal hits last season in the august issue of men's journal his rants against Cadell reach another level of wrath he says he hates him and will never respect him in other description of the commission include a anti-gay slur called him stupid a puppet and a dictator that is pittsburgh steelers linebacker james harrison's comments on nfl commissioner roger goodell Basketball, the Minnesota Timberwolves have finally fired head coach Kurt Rambis after the organization drew criticism for allowing him to twist in the wind. Rambis went 32-132 and in two seasons at the helm, including a league worth 17-65 and mark this past season. Golf, it looks like the LPGA Tour is going to add a fifth major. It will be the Evian Masters in France. That will happen most likely in the fall.